often heard it said when people come into a Catholic church that they feel a certain presence. I'm standing before the tabernacle, the epicentre of Catholic Christianity. In the Catholic tradition, the Eucharist represents the entire spiritual wealth of the church. This is the beginning and the end of the journey of first sacrament preparation. To begin to understand what it is we are encountering, we need what some people call a Catholic imagination. You do know, don't you, that you can be present and not present at all. You know, my children can text without looking at their phones. And sometimes at the meal table, I'll look at them and I'll say, mm, you're texting, aren't you? And they'll look at me and they'll say, how do you know? And I'll say, well, because you're not really here, are you? But the reverse is also true. We can sometimes imagine we see all of what there is to see, and yet there's much more behind. I remember reading in a newspaper, <gasps> the title, it said, uh, you can keep the car. You can keep the car. And, and I read it, it was in the personal section of a local newspaper, and underneath it, it repeated it, almost like a rant. You can keep the car. And as I read down, it continued, you can keep the car that you stole from Mansfield Road outside my home. In the glove compartment of the car was a letter. It was the last thing my father ever wrote to me. You can keep the car, give me back the letter. You see, to that author of that letter, the letter was worth far more than the car. This tiny piece of paper brings present something quite sacred to that person. This is a sacramental imagination. In the Eucharist, we have the real presence of Christ, a genuine encounter with the Lord in the sign of bread and wine. Here, truly present, we receive him, we encounter him, we witness and participate in a miracle. To understand this is truly impossible, but to begin to get it isn't. You know, do you remember when you were at school and you learnt things? Quadratic equations, maybe, or semicolons, or, or, or the capitals of the world. And at one stage you go, oh, I get it. In those moments you were relying on your own capacity, your own understanding, your own intellect, and you get it. In the sacrament of the Eucharist, we receive despite our not getting it. There's a sense in which we engage with it, we meet with, with it, we encounter with it. But it's a gift. A gift given freely by grace. To receive such a gift is such a privilege. So thank you, thank you for bringing your children to this moment. They will encounter Christ receiving him despite the fact that this remains a mystery. You know what to do, here are the questions.